All the rooms were lighted through the outside windows. The resulting light was strange indeed, as it colored the shapes of the dancers, but the light that fell on the black hangings through the blood-colored glass was the most fearful of them all. It produced so wild a look on the faces of those who entered that there were few of the dancers who dared to step within those dark walls. In this room stood a great clock of black wood. Gently it marked the seconds as they passed, and when it was time to mark the hour the clock spoke with a loud clear voice, a deep tone as beautiful as music, but so strange that the music and the dancing stopped and the dancers stood still to listen. And then after another 60 minutes, after another 3,600 seconds of time, of flying time, the clock struck again and the dancers stopped as before. Nevertheless, it was a happy and beautiful masquerade. And you may be sure that the clothes the dancer chose to wear, their costumes, were strange and wonderful. The dancers look like the forms we might see in troubled dreams, and these, the dreams, danced softly through the rooms, taking the color of the rooms as they moved. It didn't seem that their steps followed the music, but that the music rose from their steps. But into the seventh room the dancers do not go, for the red light coming through the windows, and the blackness of the wall hangings made them afraid, and he who enters hears more deeply the striking of the great black clock.